Hey guys, Zachary's here. Welcome to Insurmountable. So, I have not played this at all. I saw this on Steam. It just came out like two days ago. $17.99, I think it was. 10% off. I think it was like normally like $20.99. So, let's get started. It's a mounting, climbing, tactical, roguelike simulator or something like that. So, here's our three characters we could choose between. Adventurer, scientist, and journalist. Uh, adventurer has a died in a world of adventure. You're always... Look out for the next big challenge. Sprint. Negative 35% time cost on all terrain. Plus two body temperature per hour when moving. Duration three hours. Cool down 24 hours. We get a tent. Allows a player to rest in a tent. And you get three uses out of that. Climbing gloves. Negative 10% energy cost on all terrain. And canned food. We get one of those for plus 33 energy. Then scientist, as an ambitious scientist, you walk the fine line between genius and insanity. Eagle Eye increases camera zoom until next movement. 150% camera distance. Uh, duration zero and cooldowns eight hours. Analysis takes some time to gain some experience. Plus four time. Plus 180 experience points. Cooldown 48 hours. That really doesn't mean a whole lot to me because I don't exactly understand the mechanics of the game yet. Tent allows the player to rest in a tent. Again, three uses. Hiking staff, negative 15% time cost on flat terrain and negative 15% time cost when climbing. A one height difference. And then fur gloves, gain more body temperature while moving and searching. Plus 0.5 body temperature per hour when moving and plus 0.5 body temperature per hour when resting slash in events. Now journalist, as an investigative journalist, you travel the world to expose major scandals. Single minded, ignore negative weather and terrain effects for four hours. That seems pretty good. Duration six hours. Why does it say for four hours and then the duration six hours? I'm confused by that, but cooldown is 24. Burger gloves, same as before. Climbing axe, negative 15% time cost when climbing. Two height difference. Uh, same for three height difference. Same for four and five. Heavy boots. Uh, negative 10% energy cost on stone. I guess you have a little more, you know, durability while you're walking around so you're not going to roll an ankle or, or bang yourself up too bad. All right, and then a hot tea, plus 33% or plus 33 body temperature. And you get one use out of that. But there's no tent for this journalist, so I don't like that. I definitely want to have a tent. I think we're just going to go with adventure. All right. You've dived down into the briny deeps of the ocean in search of lost treasure, researched long extinct cultures in the deepest rainforests, and unearthed ancient ruins in endless deserts. No adventure was ever big enough for you, and none ever got in your way. Now a new challenge awaits you. A remote island, long concealed behind a blanket of fog. A mountain range, of which there is no record. And peaks that tower into the heavens, just waiting to be scaled. This is the stuff of adventurer's dreams, and your chance to get your name in the history books. Alright, let's give that a shot. So, choose the difficulty. It looks like we only have one choice, normal. Can you make it to the top? The standard difficulty, challenging but doable. Let's do that. Mountain 1, Mountain 2, and Mountain 3. So these are locked. Uh, scale the first summit, but remember you won't have bested the mountain until you are safely back at base camp. Until then, the mountain owns you. All right, so we have to go up and come back down. All right, Route 1, Route 2, and Route 3. In interesting here. Unusual phenomena. This route holds many discoveries. And then rough terrain. This terrain, the terrain on this route is very challenging. Firm snow. Snowy terrain provides better grip on this route. That's good. Rough terrain. This terrain is very challenging. Uh, I think if I was a journalist, I'd want to do this one for the unusual phenomena. Plus, uh, oh, okay. Plus 20 experience points. And then this costs energy and time on all terrain. Okay. What about this one? Firm snow. Uh, negative 20 energy cost on snow. Negative 20. So you're actually faster on that because of the firm snow. But it does cost a little bit of energy and time. It kind of it kind of count, cancels it out. You kind of come out ahead with the time cost. It looks like. Yeah, that that's so far as my winner right there. Firm snow, snowy terrain provides. Yeah, okay, we don't know that one. Uh, blizzard. Uh oh, the weather on this route is merciless. Increased effect of cold weather. I think the if I was the scientist. Well, you're ultra focused or something, and you, you ignore weather conditions for a little while, for like four hours or something, or six hours, something like that. Negative one body temperature per hour when moving, negative one body temperature when resting. Only active during when the weather's cold. I'm going to go with route two. Let's give that a shot. 
As you stand at the base of the mountain looking up at the summit, you sense that adventure awaits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why couldn't it be found on a map from all those years? Are the rumors about a group of unknown occupiers true? And who are the people that live here? As much as you would like to know, your most burning desire is to be the first to scale the summit. That's why you're here risking your life. Okay. No other option here. Camera controls. Middle mouse button. Roger. Path control. Click on the left mouse button. Valid tile. Add a marker. You want the character to move. Right click to uh, remove the last marker. Okay. Terrain type. Stone terrain. Energy and time costs for moving and climbing. Depend on the equipment and the skills of your character. Danger. Unpredictable things could happen. Snowy terrain. Energy and time costs for moving and climbing. Depending on the equipment and your skill of your character. Increased energy costs for movement. These are even more snow covered. Uh, danger. Not sure about that. Ice. Okay, same thing. All right. So basically three different terrain types of varying uh, difficulties. There are various types of events that can lead that can occur on the mountain. If you step on a field with such a marker, an event gets triggered. All right. Health. So this is our health. It's zero. Or <laughs> we're dead. Uh, energy. Used for climbing. Steep passages cost more energy. So there we go right here. Sanity. Decrease uh, slowly but steadily as a result of the mental stress that comes with the climb. So as time goes on, just slowly decreases. Oxygen. Yep. So lost uh, is constantly lost in the death zone high up on a mountain. So we should be okay at the start, I think. But then uh, eventually, once we reach a certain level, we're going to have to be a little concerned about that. Body temperature is used up at night in cold, snowy, snor stormy weather. Okay. So there it is, body temperature. And XP... Uh, experience. You gain experience as an outcome of from events and encounters. Where's that one at? Oh, is it right here? The blue, the blue line then? I'm guessing. Okay. Critical status. When a stat other than health reaches zero, your status is critical. You can see a path. You can see in the uh, path preview when you will definitely hit critical status. Okay, so turn red then. If you continue to climb in this condition, you will face dangerous uh, critical events. Careful if your health reaches zero. It's bye-bye to life. All right. Once your experience reaches a certain threshold, you can level up your character. You can choose between multiple skills with each level up. Cool. And the skill window provides a comprehensive list of your chosen skills. Normal weather. So this is the weather over here. Uh, energy cost of climbing increased, and then body temperature loss is increased. So, okay, right now, looks like a nice sunny, sunny day. Events. Event challenges you to make difficult choices with various outcomes. Careful, when time passes in an event, you might gain or lose stat, like body temperature, based on the condition of the mountains, or the conditions on the mountain. Sleep. Sleeping is a good way to restore energy. That's why, I put, that's why I wanted a tent. While you're not moving, you can sleep at any time by clicking the sleep button. But sleeping without a tent can severely lower your body temperature, especially in cold weather. Sometimes you can find a place to sleep in a cave. Oh, yeah. That's my that's my bag, baby. So look out for cave events. All right. So far, so good. This looks awesome. Eh, yeah, I might want to reread that again. Oh, this is neat. Can I move around the map here? Okay. Whoa. All right, how are we going to get up there? This is so interesting. All right, so we basically have a bunch of hexes here. Um, can I click over here? I want to see what this is. And then how do we activate that? Sprint? I don't really want to sprint. Can I just double click? Okay, just click on it again. I'm not going to sprint. I'm just going to walk. This must be the time. So I found a chest. You discover a chest that this is awesome. You discover a chest that is almost completely buried in snow. Eh, dig it out. Continue on. Yeah, dig it out. Energy and time. Okay. You find some equipment. What do we find? Got ourselves an oxygen mask. All right. Uh, I don't really want to put it on yet, I don't think. So there we go. Put it over here. Confirm. Ready to continue on, folks? Let's keep moving. So far, it's just a stroll in the park. I can zoom in here. 
like that. What, how, what if I click up here? Can I click up here? No. Is there something there? No. I think... Let me take a look around here. Eventually, I want to have to climb something. If I climb that, there's a tree on the other side. I really don't want to go that way. Let's try going down this way and then up. Yeah. And then over here. Up. Oh, wait. There's something here, isn't there? Let me get rid of that. That one. Okay. That's pretty seamless. I like that. I don't think I could have went down into this area. I think that's blocked. I don't know. But something's going on here. That might be a cave, I'm guessing. How we doing? Energy. It's the only thing that's really being affected right now. Weather clear, normal weather. Weather tomorrow is a storm. Okay. You entered a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into the darkness. Lie down and sleep. Leave the cave or explore, explore the tunnel. Explore the tunnel, but it's so dark you can't see your hand in front of your face. Um, That seems like a mechanical injury waiting to happen. Uh, Can I go back? I guess we're going to step into the darkness. Fear stabs your heart. You cannot stand in the darkness any longer. You want to return to the light. All right, turn around. Well, we leveled up. We got some experience. Um, Leave the cave. We're not ready for sleep yet. Where's the next cave at? Can we see it already? What's this up here? Something up here. How do I get up there? Can I move around the map? It won't let me actually. I don't think it will. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's see what happens when I hit level up here. Consumable expert. Specializing in utilizing consumables. Uh, comfort at home. Whenever you use a, a consumable item, you get some sanity. Whenever you, and then I guess I'd be level two whenever you use a consumable you gain three sanity. Maybe. The stronger you get the most out of uh, your consumable items. All bonuses are dependent on finding consumable items. Steep climber. Specializes in moving through steep terrain. Master climber. Reduces the energy cost on all terrain. That seems pretty good. For three hours. Strong at climbing fast direct routes to the summit. Taking a direct path might make you miss out on uh, events and experience. Night Isle specializes in night climbing. That doesn't seem like a good idea, but hey. Gain more experience in events during the night, plus 50 experience gains in events only active during the night. I kind of think we're going to go with Steep Climber, and I think it'll show up down here, right? Yes. Okay, there we go. So that's how we activate it down here. Cooldown is 24 hours. Might, I might go ahead and do a quick sprint here, but I kind of want to... I got another... Some sort of another event here. Let's go ahead and head over this way. I think. Actually, hold on. Let me try this. Let's do that one first. Let's see what this is all about. Skills. Pause. Did I click on it or did I miss it? I think I'm on it. I think I landed on it. Wow. There's a lot of events up there. Okay, now where to? This is where I wanted to get to. But I kind of want to go up here too. Let's see which ones. Let's do this one first. I wonder what this is. This might be a vantage point of some kind. It's only... Kind of looks like a lighthouse, almost. I'm not sure what that is. This almost looks like you're talking to somebody. How are we doing here? Energy's doing all right. Good. It's very smooth. It's quite beautiful, too. Oh, wow. There's another chest over there as well. I feel like I'm just running around the bottom of this mountain. But I guess it could be worse, right? Now, how do I find that 
cave again if I want to return there, can I? Steps have been hewn into these into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts, some type of religious site or shrine, maybe. You're not a particularly a spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray to the shrine for health? Energy? Yeah, no, we're, we're already maxed out on health, so that's not going to do any good. Obviously, energy. Cool. We got ourselves some energy back. So, I say we just kind of keep going here. All right? Let's see what this is about down here. I'm kind of wondering if I can go back to that. Okay, let's head over this way. Still daytime. It's, uh... Yeah, 5.38 p.m. It's going to be a bit of a climb down there. So death zone is 6,000 meters. Okay. We're not there yet. And now it's nighttime. Oh. Hidden behind a wall of rock, you discover a snowed-in shack. It looks abandoned. You must have stumbled across a guard post of former occupiers. Uh, go inside of it. If we can sleep there, that'd be great. There's an unpleasant smell in the air. Probably mold. But you cannot... Or rat... Rat droppings. Uh... But you cannot pinpoint its source beneath a folding cot. You discover a thick clump of fur with torn out pages next to it. You're just about to take a closer look at the pages when you hear a snarl from outside. Uh, why would I hurry out of the shack? Let's take a look at the pages. There are hand-drawn sketches of cougars. They show the animal in their natural habitats, including mountainous regions. Suddenly you hear another snarl closer this time. A cougar here? That can't be, or can it? Stay here and search the cat. Set shack. Hurry quietly out of the shack. Uh, we're going to stay here. I don't know. Maybe he lives here. You find some provisions in a locker. Just as you're tucking them into your pack, you feel something sharp pierce your shoulder. Without a second thought, you slam your elbow into your attacker's face and flee the shack. Your wild snarling coming from behind you. You put some distance between yourself and that shack before you can stop to treat your wound. So we lost a little bit of health, but we did get some provisions. So we got ourselves another tent. That's awesome. And some moon herb? What's that about? So plus 20 of sanity and negative one health. Okay. Well, we got... Now we have three or six tents. Uh, well, we can use the tent six times, I should say. All right. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can find somewhere to hole up for the night. There's a sh That's a chest over there. But I kind of want to find... Let's just keep going here. Wait a minute, can I go this way? Yeah, let's go this way. I want to get up higher here. I'm going to find a... Well, Cougar shouldn't be following me here at this point. There we go. Getting a little tired. We can always use a tent if we have to. Kind of hoping not to, but now that we have six of them... Not too worried about it. Now, I wonder if this was a bad choice because maybe I can't go anywhere from here. Yeah, I think I sort of chose a dead end at this point, but uh, that might not be too bad. There's a That looks like a, a, a cave up there. How do I get up there? So I'll be in critical state. Yeah, before I make it there. Okay. Um, what if I go this way? Yeah, right there. Yeah, let's go for that. And then we will uh, pull up. What if I do this? Hold on, stand by. What if I do it this way? We'll do. We'll go uh, there, but then we're gonna do this. I just wanted to see what would happen, but I guess I automatically put myself into that. Um. Let me uh, let me heal myself up here. Let's cancel that out there. Okay. Let's see if I can do a little uh, patch and patching up here. Yep, 
inventory. Can I patch myself up? Do I have anything I can use? I, don't know. I didn't bring any first aid kit. Uh, no first aid kits. Okay. Maybe I automatically heal myself. I don't know. But we're going to go up here to this one. Make it happen. Doesn't look like I'm actually running, but I guess it is active. Must just be decreasing the amount of time that it takes me to get there. Hey, maybe I should have chosen the Night Climber perk. This is a big climb right here. I'm going to be pretty, pretty tired by the time I get, get up here. Got a couple really big climbs coming up here. And we got that blizzard to worry about tomorrow. Might end up staying here. Uh, hanging out here until it passes. I don't know if it's possible or not. All right, what do we got here? Wooden bridge. The rocky landscape in front of you is scarred by an elongated fissure. On the other side, you see a strangely regular block of stone. Strange, re oh, regular. Okay, maybe man-made or something. Something on top of it is reflecting light. You slowly approach the edge of the fissure. A narrow wooden bridge with a rope at hip height leads across the abyss. Yeah, man, go for it. We didn't come this, this far just to uh, turn around. As you step on the bridge, it creaks. You have barely taken a couple steps when the rotten wood gives way under your weight, and you step into the void. Stabbing pain runs through you. No chance. Retreat. You examine your leg. A splinter of wood has pierced its way through your clothes. Into your flesh, you suppress a scream as you pull the wood out and clean the wound. Oh, well. We'll take those risks. Uh, reduce time. This is Alpine, Alpine style. It's one. Reduce time cost on all terrain. That seems pretty good. Um, prevent critical interruption events. And then energetic increases maximum energy. I don't know if I can do that or not, but that seems pretty good too. Let's do uh, let's do the Alpine style. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to hole up here if I can figure out how to, how to do that. Use item. There we go. Yep. Tent durability is three out of three. Use tent, sleep duration, sleep briefly, sleep long. I'm going to get a full night's sleep. And uh, night's, okay. Yep. Let's go for a long sleep. Let me see here. Plus 24. We need more than that. Yeah. See, that's how much we're going to get back right there. Versus that for a short sleep. So we want to do long sleep. Plus it helps our body temperature go up too. Yeah, let's do that. Wonderful. Daybreak. Storm. There's that storm they promised. Alright. Let's uh see what's going on here. Energy cost of climbing increased. Weather tomorrow is going to be clear. And it is noon today. Alright. Let's see if we can make it up here. Well, I'm going to be critical by then? Really? Maybe I just need to hang out here for another little bit of time. Okay. Can I make it up here? this area probably not no I can barely make it anywhere let's do uh, let's sleep a little bit more yep and let's do another I don't know if I do long briefly or long let's see here I think I want to do that and max out my my energy hopefully the storm's gone by then Is still raging? A bit. It is, but our stats are doing pretty good here. So. I'm going to try to get to this right here. There we go. We can make it to the cave. Let's get there. It's going to take a lot of energy, but we'll make it. Let's make this happen. Like how she's no longer just walking. She's like shielding her face from the uh, the wind and the 
the blizzard. And it really lets you zoom in, that's for sure. I think we're going to be alright getting to the, uh, yeah, to the cave here. That's what we want. What's our altitude now? Yeah, we're starting to get up there a little bit. Went up about, what, 400 feet or so? Drop back down to where we were. The under cave is dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Follow the light. That's interesting. You realize it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Hmm. Okay. Experience. We got some experience and insanity went up, so we like that. Uh, let's lie down and sleep because we've burned through all of our energy there and we can sleep until tomorrow when it should be clear. Uh, let's get as much of that energy back as we can. Can I do anything extra? Reduces temperature loss and decrease temperature gain. Plus four energy. Night. That's one moving. Okay, yeah, I got you. All right, so let's go ahead and get some sleep here. No tent needed. I like that. All right, nice and clear. Let's see what we can find here now that we're up here. We've got a couple things over here. What's this up here? That looks important. They want me to go up there for sure for some reason. But I kind of want to see what this is about right here. Oh, I can't get up there? Why not? What's this about? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Is that impassable or dangerous or? Hmm. Okay. What happens if I click up here? It looks like it's more bumpy. Like this is a smooth surface. This is a little more bumpy. I think it's more likely to cause some sort of a critical event. So let's head over here first. If we have to recover, we got a cave like literally right there. We got also have another event up here as well. So let's do this one first. And if we need to sleep, we can always sleep here. Looks like we're starting to get into the into the snowy area here. All right, what do we got here? A mountain hare. You hear a soft squeaking coming from somewhere. Take a look around to discover a mountain hare cowering inside a rock fissure. Fissures be everywhere. It trembles as you approach, but does not try to flee. You suspect it might be injured. Um, outcomes unknown. Help the hare. I, I don't know why we would help the hare, but. I'm feeling generous today. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's use that moon herb. You proffer a handful of herbs to the terrified animal, which nibble, nibbles eagerly. It trembles, trembling eases, allowing you to inspect its hind legs. Broken. You made a splint out of a branch, bind it to the injured leg. The hair still doesn't stand much of a chance of surviving, but at least has more hope now than it did. All right, so we got a little sanity, a little bit. Okay, so that's what it was. Helping it helped with sanity. Killing it probably would have not helped with sanity. All right, so we got another event over here. We got another observation area here, probably. And I want to see what this is, because it looks important. I mean, it's glowing, right? So let's go see what this is about. Uh-oh, yep. While moving through the rough, stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. I knew that was coming. All right. I wish I had that moon herb. <laughs> All right, so much for that. Oh, watch out, snow. Hey, this is just like the long dark. Twisted my ankle. Within about uh, the first 30 minutes of uh, gameplay. Yeah, this looks interesting as well. But I want to see what this is about up here. Alright, Melody. You lean back against the rock face. A distant Melody reaches your ears, soft and tender and beautiful. Close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply and evenly. You keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it be yet another legacy of occupiers? Or maybe its origins are more mysterious. Whatever it is, it makes you smile. All right. Well, my sanity's up. I don't need any more sanity. I'm completely lucid. Um, level up. Okay, let's see here. Event expert. Flat terrain. I, that's what I need right there. Reduces energy cost on all terrain. Um, consumable expert. Some say I don't really need sanity right now. Reduces sanity loss in events. I think I'm going to do this one here. Seems like energy is the thing that I need to keep a focus on. So I'm going to do a uh, flat terrain expert. Yep. Let's do that one. 
All right. Where, where's the next cave at? Okay, we got one over here. Can I make it over there? I can. Question is, should I? So I think it's going to use most of mine, and then I'll be in a critical state. I kind of want to see what this is, though. Let's do this, and then hopefully we can still make it to the cave. I got two caves over here I could use. But I think I'm going to head up this way. You got a cave here, and then one over here as well. What's this going on here? Temporary debuffs. Ah, it's because of my ankle. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. Interesting. She wears a friendly, toothless smile and motions you to sit uh, with her to recharge your strength. Yes, as you do as she suggests and regain. Oh, no, I want... Uh, I guess I'll take health. Warmth is fine. I don't need any warmth. Uh, health. I was hoping I'd get energy, you know, because you're sitting down and relaxing, but I'll take it. Health is fine. Can I make it over here to the cave? Can I make it to the cave? Where's my cave at? There it is. Ooh, I can. Good. Let's get to the cave. Just in time. What's the weather supposed to be like tomorrow? Clear. Clear day tomorrow. All right, good. Good, good. So far, so good. How much further we got to go? We got to go a long ways. Is this where we want to get to? This looks like Summit up here. Oh, boy. This, this game is brilliant. I am absolutely loving this. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Lie down and sleep, baby. Sleep long. Sleep long and hard. I have to really start moving fast when... I... Do I only get to use the cave once? I want to use it again. It won't let me use it again? Ooh. Well, I, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, it's almost daybreak, so... Um, let's see here. We got a couple events here. I, I kind of want to see what this is about. And we'll start warming up. And then maybe I can hit these two and then hopefully make it up here. But let's start by going over here. I get the feeling I shouldn't be trying to hit every one of these. But it's kind of... I just want to see what's going on. I'm curious. It's hard for me to pass up on a special event. Alright. There's going to be some serious climbs coming up here. Shrine! There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames... Nice flames. Seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain energy. Nice. That's what we needed. That's what we needed, folks. All right, let's see here. Um, Definitely head over here. All right, you discover a chest that's almost completely buried in the snow. Dig it out. It's going to take a little bit of energy, but might be worth it. And it's daybreak. You find a vacuum flask filled with tea in the chest. Nice. So we got some tea. So that's going to help with the body temperature, which is just now starting to drop a little bit. But I think during the daytime, it should rega uh, regain uh, some temperature, especially since it's a clear day. And we haven't reached the death zone yet. Let's see what this event is here. Another animal event, maybe? Hello? What's... Oh, is it over here? That's what it is. All right, I was standing on the wrong hex. Okay. You reach a rocky ho... Ooh, dead guy. Half covered with glacial ice. As you carefully climb over the sheet of ice into the hollow, you come face to face with a pair of eyes staring at you. 
You breathe in sharply. The eyes are those of a woman who almost complete, almost completely frozen in ice. Only her face at, and the top of her torso are exposed. Free the corpse. Why would I do that? Examine it and continue my journey. I don't know. Let's. Uh, she might have something on her. That's what I'm thinking. Outcome unknown. Let's do that. It takes a while until finally the corpse of the woman is cloaked in furs is lying in front of you. Ooh, flirt. Furs. Her skin is sallow, yet flawless. You can't make out any other signs of decay either. So, you, yeah, no kidding. She's been frozen solid. So you briefly wonder whether she's just fallen asleep due to hypothermia. You have uh, heard tell of well-preserved corpses at altitudes like these. Exactly. But this one, incredible. Also encased in the ice, you find some equipment. We got snow boots. Ooh, negative 15 energy cost on snow. And guess what, guys? We're just starting to hit the snow. So let's put those on down here. Can I put this on yet? Do I need a tank for this, an oxygen tank? Or can I just wear it now? And I don't think it deteriorates, so might as well put that on now, I guess. Sure, why not? Can't hurt. I'm starting to get close to the uh, death zone. All right, so still have quite a bit of energy left. Are we going to be able to? Yes, we can. Got a couple little areas here that are going to be a little tricky. So hopefully we uh, make it through those okay. Are we still injured? Yeah, we're still a little injured. Click to see the individual effects. Ends in point. Okay, so it's almost over. And it's negative 50 or plus 50 uh, energy cost on all terrain for that sprained ankle. But it's about ready to heal up. So let's head on up here. That should disappear here shortly. Yeah, point C. Okay. I'm just going to leave that down like that so you guys can see the status of it. And it's almost gone. I want to use this here, and if I, I might use this. Let's, do we say it's gonna be cold tomorrow? All right, so we're gonna to have to start worrying about our temperature a little bit. No surprise there. We're starting to get a little bit higher here on the mountain. See how far we've come up so far. Um, is it going to let us zoom out a little bit here? Not too much. Definitely on a... There's definitely unique routes. Like, this is a specific route, and then over there was a specific route. Like, we'd be hitting ice if we had gone a little bit left by now. I guess, technically, we're hitting ice up here. Okay. Oh, one more. Let's go there. Okay, cave. You enter a cave. It's dry shelter from the wind. Yada yada. You notice a faint shimmer of light. Follow the light. Uh, find a weather blocked block of stone encompassed by a strange light. When you touch it, energy flows into your body. You feel invigorated. Sleep is now the last thing on your mind. Uh, so I can't sleep there now? And I got a little bit of a bonus? Ugh. So I, I didn't get to use the cave, unfortunately. So we're probably going to have to use our tent here. Because I don't see anything up here. Anytime soon. Well, might as well travel as much as we can. Jeez. Maybe we'll get somewhere worthwhile. How high, how high can we go with this? I might use my uh, Master Climber perk. There we go. Let's get up there and see where we're at. I don't feel too bad. We still have five tenth uses left. I probably have to go all the way back down and around in order to come over to this this spot right here. It's completely blocked by this uh, bunch of rubble. Oh, level up. Yeah, let's take a look at that here in a minute. I can't do it right now while we're in the middle of the action. All right, do I see anything else up here yet? Uh, not yet. Some sort of a shrine or something going on up here, some sort of landmark. And it looks like we kind of join up with 
This one, maybe? Or do we go this way? I think we maybe we go... No, I think we actually go this way. Sort of stair-step around to the right here, maybe. But remember, we still got to get down. So, it's not over yet. Open-minded, increase sanity gain in events. Um, thick skin, lose fewer health in events. Or power through, lose some oxygen, gain some energy. Can I do that one? Yeah, I can. Lose oxygen, gain energy. I don't know if that's a good idea since we're getting up into the uh, death zone, but uh, let's give that a shot. I don't know. Might have been a bad choice. Not sure. Uh, I could probably... Oof. Things are starting to get critical here. Could over, head over here and then sleep here on the tent tonight. Or I could just ignore it. Kind of keep go moving forward. I, I kind of want to just keep moving forward. What's this right here? What's that moon about? Oh, it's nighttime. So it's saying when I hit here, it's going to turn into nighttime. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to try to go as far as I can. Let's go there first. Hopefully we don't get injured. I wonder if we can actually set up a tent on a hazardous hex. I'm not sure. Time will tell. I wish the hexes that were hazardous would... Is that what this is right here? So let me know that it's a hazardous hex. Okay. There's getting thin. Your breathing is heavy. We must have just crossed, yeah, 6,000 meters. Breathing, your breath is heavy. You have entered death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. Uh, I will ascend as quickly as possible. I'll take it slow. Or before I ascend, I will mend my wounds. I don't have any wounds right now because it's gone. The, the ankle injury is gone. I will ascend as quickly as possible. It means decrease energy costs for a short time. Um... I will take a slow, decrease oxygen loss for a short time. I think I'll do that because I can recover energy as we go. And I do have the tents and probably have some caves up here. This one, I'm not worried about. I mean, I do have a little bit of wound here, but that's tight. That's minuscule. And my sanity's fine. So let's, uh, let's take it slow. There we go. I think that's probably the smart play. And there is a cave up here, so I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't make it up there. So this is as far as we can go today. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot here. Well, now those little green fire things are gone. I thought that maybe meant, like, this. these are the hexes that are dangerous. All right. You hear a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain, and one of them hits you in the torso. Ouch. That sucks. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Oh, check it out. The aurora right above the, the summit. All right, so is that as far as we can go? Yep, okay, without going critical. And I think critical starts eating into your health, and I really don't want to do that. So let's... um. Can I just sleep out in the cold like this? Oh, it's just going to automatically let me use my tent. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't have to use a tent. Energy body temperature is going to drop significantly. Oxygen is going to go down. What if I use a tent? Oxygen is still going to go down. But my body temperature is going to go up. Um, What's tomorrow supposed to be? Stand by. Let me check. Cold? Probably cold. Yeah, it's cold tomorrow. I don't really want to do that. Take a take a temperature hit and then have to deal with that tomorrow as well. Even though we do have a cave up here, we could definitely recharge our. And um, we'll save. We'll save sleeping in the sleeping bag until we absolutely have to. In the meantime, let's use that tent because we have another one still left to go. I think. Let me double check. Three. One. Okay, so you can keep sleeping in the same tent as long as you don't move off the hex. All right. Let's do that. Should get us close to daybreak, and then we'll sleep one more time to get some more sleep here. 
Well, let me use the tent again. Oh, it's making me burn the other tent. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Hmm. Can I get up there? I can. Yeah, I'm really close. I'm not sure if I'm right there or not, but I'm very close. Let's get up there. Here's daybreak. And if I need to sleep in that cave, we'll do that. That was a perilous hex right there. These all look pretty smooth. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, I don't see any other bits of rough terrain. Okay, so I need to go, I think, one more after this one. All right, let's move. Um, stand by. Let's move over here, then move back here. Let's do that first. Encounter. You have encountered a cloaked mountaineer. Interesting. He points at your flask and holds his hands together. Give him tea. Don't. Yeah, give him the tea. Mountaineer bows and continues on his way. I need to stop doing stuff that increases my my sanity. I just gave away my tea. Oh well, I thought I was hoping you'd give me something long term. Some long term item that would help me, but so much for that. Alright, we're gonna hang out here for a long rest. Let's try and shelter from the wind. Lie down sleep. Uh sleep long. Ooh, body temperature's gonna go down? It's cold in this cave, huh? Ooh. Well, What's the temperature supposed to be like tomorrow? Hold on. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Weather. Tomorrow's cold. Today's cold. Okay, so cold, cold. Not a blizzard or anything like that. Let's sleep long. Get 40 energy back. And then we can keep rocking up this uh, mountain here. Kind of thinking. I kind of really wish I had kept that tea. Oh, well. Don't see any other places to stay. Probably going to have to rely on my tent again. Um, what's the best way to get up here? Can I get up here? That's going to be rough. That's a long climb. If I go this way. I can make it up there. And maybe that will open up to, on this side, maybe there will be a cave nearby. Um, can't really see a cave over here. Can I make it over here? Let me see what happens if I do this. Ooh, I can. I can make it over there, and I'd be safe. Would daybreak happen sometime during this, or am I going to make it there? I don't, I don't think so. I think I'll still make it there at night. It looks like there's some good... Let's head over there. Yeah, and then I can hit this right here, and maybe hit this down here. What if I do this? there and then to here let's do that that seems like a safe option seems like a little bit of a crossover from this initial path over to here but I guess when you get to the top of the summit it kind of makes sense everything sort of converges together all the paths sort of eventually lead to one, one place obviously and uh, that's just another shrine. What's this snowflake up here? I wonder what that's about. I don't know. My body temp's hurting here, though. Oxygen. Okay. While well, moving through rough stony terrain, take us to, okay, twisting your ankle. There we go again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it now. Hopefully I can. Maybe I should use my master climber. Encounter. Encounter another cloak mountaineer, or the cloak mountaineer again. 
He's holding a vacuum flask in his hand. He passes it to you. Then he pulls out some herbs and a torch and offers them to you alternate, alternately. The vacuum flask, I can get that back. So basically I got some free experience points and, and karma, sanity. Take the tea and herbs. Take only the vacuum flask. Take the tea and herbs. Take the tea and the torch. That might help me in a cave. Not too worried about my injury. Yeah, sprained ankle, no big deal. Um, kind of thinking I might want to use that to explore a cave. But if I'm getting greedy, I don't know if I want to be greedy though. He might come back and help me again. Let's just uh, let's just take the vacuum flask. It seems like you get rewarded for not being greedy. So I'm gonna go for this. Yeah, it might have been a mistake, but uh, sort of testing the waters here. Okay. All right, let's give it a shot. We got ourselves a chest over here, too. I don't know if I'll even go for that, though. Because um, we have a chest up here. And uh, something else. That's the snowflake up there, right? Yeah, another cave here. I wonder what the purpose is of going up here and getting a snowflake. Is I don't know. We have a chest here as well. Oh, I gotta go one more. No, no, go go one more, dude. Don't stop, stop, stop. I want you to go down here. There you go. I'm glad it just didn't keep walking up here. I would have completely missed this. I was able to interrupt it somehow there. Okay, saddlebag. <laughs> it's an interesting place for a saddlebag. You discover a large leather saddlebag lying on the ground right next to it. You discover faded hoof prints. Got some herbs in the saddlebag. Here, we'll take that. Um, you want to use it? Well, let's get rid of that sprained ankle. I think it'll get rid of it, right? I hope. I don't know. I don't know what it did. Maybe it was for my sanity, which didn't need any help anyway, but we'll keep moving. Poor character starting to get hurt here. Starting to hurt. Need to find some oxygen tanks. I read in one of the reviews someone said something about finding oxygen on the mountain. Oh, we need to go one more. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what happens in the cave. And maybe I'll do... Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Let's definitely get some sleep here. Shimmer light. It's risky, but we do have tents in case we get forced out of the cave. Hundred flyer fireflies, okay. Lie down and sleep, baby. Get yourself some rest. Some much needed rest. I need to get this temp up. Peaceful cave. Yeah, it's my temp that's hurt me. Huh. So, let's climb up here. Let's see how fast this decreases my health. Doing this. Maybe this will help me. I don't know. Warm me up, baby. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to pedestal of sorts, yada yada. Health or energy. Uh, at this point, we need the energy. We need to be able to keep on moving. Um, we got to keep going this way, though. Yeah, let's go for this. And then if I get up here and I'm hurting, if I, if my health is like down to here, I'm gonna go ahead and rest in the in a tent. And I think I'll, I think I'll be all right when it comes to. Uh, I think I'll be okay when it comes to warmth with the tent.
This one increases my body temperature a little bit. I should probably utilize a sprint so I can get where I need to go. So maybe I'll do that next. Not really taking much of a health hit here. Ooh, despite your thick gloves, your fingers on your left hand feel numb and it's causing you increased problems gripping properly. You've heard of mountaineers who have lost nine of his 10 fingers yet still could uh, not stop scaling the new summits. You, however, would prefer to keep all of your extremities. Uh, put my hands under my armpits. Outcomes unknown. Um, and walk faster. Uh, hands under armpits. Fingers are gray and slightly swollen quickly. Open your jacket, shove your hands up in your sweater. Feel weird, even though you know it's common practice among mountaineers to protect themselves from frostbite. Your mood grows worse as you think about all the things that might happen to you. You barely feel any improvement. Take your hands out of your sweater. So I lost some sanity. All right, she's hurting there. Wolf's head, you come across the remnants of a wall. A weathered stone wolf's head uh, stares at you with lifeless eyes. Stay and examine the relic or continue my journey. Let's stay and examine it, even though we're running a little low on oxygen. I hope this isn't a sanity. Nope, let's continue. Because this is going to be a sanity buff, I think. And we'll get some experience, which we don't need right now. I am going to go ahead and make... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make... Uh, use one of my tents here. So energy, oxygen. Is it, it's not going to warm me up at all? There we go. All right, oxygen starting to get low here. Need to summit. I need to summit. I have a feeling I need to rely on one of these to to save me. It's a cave there. What's this up here? Uh, maybe that's going to be what saves me. Is this a uh, snowflake? I don't know. Let's go for it. It's a gamble. Um, let's do the mountaineer thing. Or, yeah, let's do this one sprint. And this one, can I do both? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Health is still alright. These haven't affected my health yet, which is kind of odd. It's definitely struggling. Definitely struggling. Oh, I had a I had a I had a snowflake over here I could have hit, but this one's a glowing one, so that must be better than this one. That's that's my thinking anyway. I got a cave here and a cave here, but apparently the caves aren't were really warm enough to do much. Maybe I should have taken the torch as well. Could have at least warmed up a little bit. You stop breathing, the world falls into darkness, you hear a whisper. I keep breathing. Remember to breathe in front of your eyes. A familiar alpine environment appears once again. You also remember the whispering. What did the voices want from you? Uh, so I lost some sanity. All right, keep going. Tomorrow's supposed to be clear, though. Not cold, but clear. So that'll be interesting. Uh, let's see if we can actually gain gain some of the warmth back. Uh, the problem now is going to be oxygen. Hopefully we can find some some sort of some sort of oh that is glowing as well. Shoot! You notice that you're shivering, shivering uncontrollably from the cold. Jump up and down. I endure it. Um, jump up and down. You manage to warm up a little bit as you wind up. For another jump, you slip and fall hand painfully. I knew that was going to happen. You're going to get too crazy with your jumps. So we got a little bit of a sprained ankle, but we did uh, get a little bit of warmth back. Actually, a decent amount of warmth. When I get up here, I'm probably going to drink that tea. Man, this uh, episode's going a little bit long. I was planning on doing about a 25-minute episode, but I look over and it's like almost an hour. But that's okay. So I'm just curious to see how we're going to die. That's all. <laughs> At this point, this is a big one right here. Oh boy, can we make it? it? I mean, this is all by itself. This better be worth it, whatever this is. Oh, it's not a snowflake. It's some sort of weird icon. A sun icon? Hopefully that means warmth. Hopefully that's what it means. 
uh, limestone cave. You enter an expansive cave. Countless uh, stalactites hang from the ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks. That means it can't be that cold if there's water. And into pools below, a soothing, tingling sound that they make, uh, they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. Rock formations must be many thousands of year old, dating back before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could be uh, could endure for this long. It's freaking ice. <laughs> That's not exactly anything enduring. Uh, you you two are uh, here to achieve something that will outlast you. Something people will talk about for years to come. So I got some sanity. I got some sanity, some experience points, and let's level up. Hopefully, we can get something that has to do with warmth. Um, prevent critical interruption events for four hours. Ooh, uh, light steps, reduce energy costs on all terrain, and stone mastery. Energy uh, fit negative fifty percent energy on stone. That's a thirty-six hour cooldown, though. I think. Negative one energy cost on all terrain. Uh, those critical events are kind of rough right now because everything's sort of critical. So I'm going to go with this. Yeah, and I'm going to activate it right away. And then I'm going to go ahead and... and um, let's activate that sucker. Yeah, it's a 48-hour one. Um, let's go into our inventory here. Let's drink this tea. That helped out, man. Canned food, energy. Uh, we're good on that. What I need is I need I need some. Uh... There's a cave down here, but I think we're just gonna be cold. That's all it's gonna be. Is that the fastest way? How do we summit here? Let me see. We're gonna run into energy issue there. That's what that's saying. Okay. So we're going to stop there and then we're going to eat. And we're going to keep going. Because we need to get moving off this mountain. Uh, honor, uh, Oxygen for energy. I honestly don't care about oxygen because we're out of it. That seems like a easy trade. I can't I can't activate it. Can I use this skill because your oxygen is too low? Yeah, okay. I thought I was going to get away with it there. <laughs> Alright, so... I think we need to check down here first. And let me see. Try something. What about here? Then here. Let's do that. Might get lucky. Get something beneficial. I think it's a little too ambitious just to go straight for Summit right now. And then if we get into trouble, we can head for the cave. Maybe we'll get a good event inside of the cave. Oh boy, everything's starting to suck. Well, the tea was definitely a big help. That's uh, super valuable. I want to remember that for next time. I just need to find something to help me with my oxygen. Oh, we got a cave here. I didn't even know that. Stop, stop, stop. Stop at the cave. There we go. The inner cave is dry and sheltered from the wind. Um, Lie down. Ooh, body temperature goes up. Look at that. Plus energy. Oh, yeah. It's just sleep in the cave. Night. Okay. What is this? I don't... Oh, that's just the bonuses for being in the cave. All right, let's go for it. At least we'll get some... Some warmth back. All right. And the cave has now kicked us out. Okay, let's keep going. Still have a little bit of these left, as you can see. It looks like they maybe it's no, that's eleven hours before I can use it again. That's what the that's what it is. Yeah, I had no idea there was gonna be a cave there. That's okay. We'll take it. Yeah. Taking the view, you're overcome with elation. Mountains are, without a doubt, the most beautiful structure on earth. And no man-made edifice, however magnificent it may be, can compete. You feel good? Better than ever? 
The beauty of the mountain gives you strength. I continue to enjoy the view. Let's enjoy the view a little longer. The longer you stay here, the bigger and more menacing the mountain appears. Your mood darkens. <laughs> oh no, you wonder whether you will ever make it. You want to turn away and push on, but your legs feel like lead. Oh, sanity went down a smidge. That's okay. <laughs> I, uh, so much for that. All right, let's get up here to this one. Here we go. Spiders. Branch of nearby brush is completely covered with spider webs. As you take a closer look, you notice several spiders vanishing into a hole in the ground. Bend over and inspect the hole. It looks like there's something hidden there. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, we can afford the sanity. Spiders skitter over your hands, but they don't hurt you. Your fingertips brush something soft. A cloth bag. You pull it out and discover some equipment inside. Oh, please be oxygen. Crampons. Oh, cool. We are familiar with those. Um, yeah, let's put those on. Here we go. They should give, uh, yeah, negative 20 energy on ice, which is pretty much what we're on right now. So, good stuff. Wonderful. All right. Let's head over here. Get there. Make it happen. I almost feel like I need to... I kind of want to head this way, hit this one, and then hit this one. And try to summit. Um, I am worried about the oxygen. I'm not sure when that's going to start really hurting us. Start hurting us. I guess it, our health has dwindled a little bit. It's not as fast as I expected, so that's good. Maybe it's just because it's just one thing that's uh, hurting us. I think if we were like freezing plus this, it would be you know twice as fast or something similar. It would definitely be worse. You stop breathing. World falls in darkness. You hear a whisper. I keep breathing. Or breathe. What do the voices want from you? They're just messing with my sanity, that's all. Keep going. Ruins, nearby camp. There's some vacuum flasks filled with tea. Oh, yes. Could take the time to search some tents. Uh, yeah, search those tents. Yeah, I don't... That's... Yeah, we got the tea, so we can we can gain that, that temperature loss back. We might get something really helpful. Uh, two, two of them were filled with tea. Okay. So instead of one, we got two. That's awesome. But what I really need is oxygen. Oh, boy. Okay. I wonder what else you can get here. Probably a, a pick or something? Well, we do we do have the character that starts with the pick, so that's always a possibility. Um, let's go ahead and drink one. Might as well. At least we're not as cold. Do we want to stop now or we want to keep going? We want to keep going here. Honestly, traveling that, that distance right there doesn't really take that much energy anymore. Must be because of all the uh, the traits that I've picked up along the way. And we're about two-thirds of the way to the next uh, level. We're getting close. What's the weather supposed to be tomorrow? Clear. Normal weather. Nice. And we have another cave. Put one foot in front of the other, suddenly you start to cough. You gasp for air, feeling it, so your lungs are about to burst. Like ripe grapes, you feel like you're going to suffocate. You're overcome with panic. Your windpipe stings as your ribs ache, but the fit of coughing abates. You wipe your mouth. Your hand comes away with white foam and traces of blood. That's not good. Ooh, that dropped our health quite a bit. And I think I need to do the uh, avoid critical... Um, events at this point. Uh, okay, so you reach a ho rocky hollow half covered with glacial ice. You carefully climb over the sheets of ice to a hollow and you discover the eyes. Okay, so we found another person free from the corpse. Examine the corpse. Yeah, let's free it again. Young woman uh, sinking into you. Her eyes are sinking into you like a bottomless lake. Just what happened to her? And why does she show no signs of decay? Um, shake off the thoughts as you feel a small pouch she's wearing around her neck. Carefully open the pouch and find something useful for your journey. Another tent. Wonderful. Love that. All right, let's uh, let's head up here and then see if we can get some sort of good sleep. Can I do the uh, avoid? Nah, I can't do that yet. I still gotta wait another twenty-six. 
26 hours. I'll either be dead or down by base camp by then, I, I would imagine. Okay, here we go. So these have recharged. I'm going to wait until the start of the day tomorrow before we use these, but we'll use both of these before we summit. Plus, probably, I can't use that one still. That's right. Because oxygen is so low. Oh, no. Suddenly see a dark figure standing next to you. It warns you in a quite friendly voice that a rock fall is about to occur. Ooh, take cover. After a few seconds, boulders come crashing down from above. Luckily, you were able to find cover. The dark figure has vanished. Guardian Angel. <laughs> Why did the sanity go down? That's awesome. You got like a friendly angel watching over you. Okay, what do we got here? Enter cave is dry and sheltered. A small tunnel leading into darkness. Uh, explore the tunnel. It's so dark. Can't uh, see your hand. Yeah, I wish I had a torch. Step into it. I'm going to be terrified, aren't I? Ah, uh, okay. We couldn't find. You crawl through the darkness on all fours. After a while, you kind of some rubble. Looks like the passageway has collapsed. You can't go any further. That's too bad. But at least we uh, level up. So maybe we get another bonus here. Uh, lie down and sleep, please. Body temperature. Cool. Goes up by 10. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and do that. This might kill us, though, because of the lack of oxygen. I don't know. We need to get a rest. Level up. Careful steps. Spends more time when moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. Ooh. Or alpine style. Significantly reduces time cost on all terrain. Yeah, we're going to do alpine style, too. I think that'll be good. All terrain. All terrain. All terrain uh, me seems like a good idea right about now. All right, let's make it happen. Let's get up there, folks. Um, activate. Activate. Uh, can't do that one. Can't do that one. Okay. Make it, make it so. Let's get up here. Come on, baby. Oh, man. I'd be happy just summiting, honestly. First attempt in the game. Of course, this is supposed to be the easy mountain, right? There's supposed to be three of them. Wow. It's pretty up here. This would be really cool in VR. Like Brass Tactics is. This would be great in VR. I might hit this one on the way down. I'll probably come down on the other side that but we need to get down below danger or the death zone oh please give me some energy I guess I could eat that can of food but I kind of want to save that if possible what we got here you lean back against the rock face a distant melody reaches your ears close your eyes for a moment breathing deeply and evenly keep listening the music seems to be coming from inside a mountain it could be another legacy of occupiers or maybe the origins are more mysterious, whatever. It makes you smile. Yay. So, yay for sanity. But what I really need is warmth. All right, get up here. Are you going to actually let me find some oxygen up here? Get some sort of reward? Because am I going to camp out up here? I probably have to camp out out here, actually. But uh, we need to get down. We need to get down. Quick. Uh... Remaining time, two hours, two hours, 24, yep. Don't you go dying on me right now. Well, we made it to the summit, folks. We have made it to the summit. I don't think we're going to make it all the way off this mountain, though. First summit. Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardship of the climb already forgotten. You savor the moment. It's all yours and yours alone. Then you plant your flag. Those who come after you need to know what you've achieved. Oh, yay. I need to make it down there. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, let's just go ahead and click on one of these hexes and go for it. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so that's supposed to be the fastest route, huh? All right. Where's... I need to actually come down here. Oh, you know what? I need to stop and get some energy back. I need to eat something. Or camp out. Probably just eat something this time. I 
I wonder if the energy cost going down is less than going up. I want to see if I can cancel this here. Stop, 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 stop. Painstakingly struggle forward, but you're struck by sudden, a strange unease. Sure, you're exhausted and it's tempting to lie down right here and sleep, but your unease grows stronger. With every step you take, your doubts that you'll ever reach your goal now. I already reached my goal. Now I'm just trying to get off this mountain. Uh, listen to my body. Uh, don't sleep. Push together. Push forward. Um, yes. Step by step, you cannot get uh, get the unease out of your head. It's quite opposite. The more you walk, the darker your thoughts become. Your energy reserves are almost exhausted. Has this all been for nothing? No, you don't want to die. Not here, not today. Yeah, you feel icy fingers of death tugging at you. All right. Stop, stop, stop. I want you to eat. Yes, eat that energy up, son. There you go. Cool. Now, continue. <laughs> continue on. Now I need to find that. Where's that? Near a. Uh, I thought there was a cave around here somewhere. I don't know. We'll see what this ha has for us here. Old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. What a weird place to have a hut. She wears a friendly toothless smile. Emotions you to sit with her. Recharge your strength. Do what she s suggests and regain warmth or health. Oh, health, baby. We need two bars. Yeah, we're good on warmth for now. Plus, we have more tea. We definitely want the health. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, all right, let's see. Where can I go here? All right, that's where I want to be sapped of energy right there. Just one one thing down. Um, so I go down one, and I'm, I'm pretty much tuckered out. I thought that there was a cave around here somewhere. Maybe it's on the other side, or maybe I've already used it. Okay. If I go down this way... Yeah, I can go down that way. All right, let's just go down one. Then we'll sleep. Ah, uh, we got ourselves a box over here. Hopefully oxygen is inside. If we have oxygen in there, we're good. I think we'll be good. need to get off this freaking cliff as fast as possible. Alright, we gotta sleep. You feel weak and exhausted, you doubt whether you can continue walking. Uh, sit down and rest. Probably die if I do that, even though I technically do want to set up my tent right there. Continue walking. You're extremely exhausted, and you, but you continue walking. Like, don't ever give up, right? Okay, so we can go one more. We need to keep going while we can. And that'll leave, leave us with a little bit. I go this way. Yeah, it still wants me to go this way. Okay, so let's head down this hex. Since we got that bonus little push of energy right there. Gotta be like super hypoxic by now. Alright, let's sleep. Sleep long, baby. Sleep long. Get that energy in that body temp. Up, up. I know we're about to take a hit due to the lack of oxygen again. We're probably going to end up right about here. Any minute now. Let's see if we can get down here. 12 hours till we can, oh, three hours till we can use the uh, buff to prevent the critical interruptions. What's this up here? Help. Oh, no, I'm good on that. Oh no. Stop breathing. The world falls into darkness. You hear a whisper. Keep breathing. Remember to breathe. Uh, yep. We've seen this before. Sanity's starting to drop a little bit, but uh, we're going to be alright. I think well, we just need to get low. We just need to get below the 6,000 mark. So the sooner we can do that, the better. Oxygen bottle, baby. Yes! As you climb along the crevasse in the glacier, you see 
uh, gli- gl- 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 glacier, yeah, however you want to say it, Creve- <laughs> crevice and glacier for us Americans. You see an oxygen bottle together with an oxygen mask buried under a thick layer of ice. The bottle seems to be intact. Uh, I dig towards the oxygen bottle like my life depends on. I use a stun to break the ice. Don't do that. Um, yeah, yeah, do that. Like, definitely, definitely do that. Don't break the ice because it's probably going to break the oxygen bottle. Can barely feel your fingers anymore, but that doesn't stop you from digging farther. The cold creeps up your arm to into your shoulders and then in your chest. Finally, feel the smooth oxygen bottle in your hands and pull it towards yourself. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where do I put this thing at? Put it on my face? Where do I do this? Do you use it? Yes, use it. Yes. Yes, use your oxygen. Oh, thank God. We needed that, folks. We needed that. We can travel in green now. All right. I love it. I love it. Um, how far can we go? I can almost start reactivating these. Uh, let's get down off of this freaking cliff. I can't make it that far. Can't can't quite do that, folks. Let me see. I want to go this way. Can I go this way? Okay. Let's take it here. Then we'll rest. Or yeah, then we'll rest. Oh man, we needed that so badly. I just want to watch this number drop. Once we get below 6,000, we're golden. We're going to be in good shape. I know. This episode, I'm just going to play it until this one ends. So if this takes a, if this is a two hour episode, so be it. I really don't care. This, this is just too immersive to stop. Just want to keep going. I feel like I'm going the wrong direction. We need to go back down. My experience is about ready to uh, level up again, so that, that'll be nice. So we get down off of this, man. Should be a nice little stroll in the park. Now, I wonder when you're sleeping, does the oxygen actually drop? To, I think it does. So, but we... Oh, we're already down at 63, 68. This is awesome. This is awesome. How much does each one of these drop? Eh, not, not too bad, actually. Um, I think if we go there, we're screwed. So, let's just go ahead and camp here. I got one more use on this tent, but I think I have another tent, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, so I got... Yeah, I got like four tents. Hot tea, uh, snow boots. Um, are we on snow now? I need to switch out. Yeah, we're on snow, and it's going to be clear and normal weather tomorrow. So, yeah. All right, let's switch out to our snow boots. Put those back. Now that we're back on this, and uh, I think mostly it's going to be snow. We got a couple little things of ice, but mostly snow. Okay, let's just try to get down to a low elevation. Like, hopefully we can get down to this cave tomorrow. So, let's uh, sleep long. Oxygen is going to drop. Sleep short. Sleep long. Sleep short. Sleep long. <laughs> let's do that one. Because... Yeah, let's do that one. I want that energy. Daybreak. All right, can I make it down there? I can. Ooh. That kind of looks like the perfect path to drop as much altitude as possible, as fast as possible. I'm going to go ahead and prevent the critical interruptions here because we've got like several of them. So let's do that. Uh, let's do Master Climber, and let's do this one. Let's just do them all, because I, I think once we get down here, we're going to be pretty good shape. We'll be very close, I think, I hope. We just need to drop 300. I'm not going to go for this, because it's up higher, and I just don't want to waste the time going for it. Right now, the priority is getting down low, and this looks like a pretty good drop coming up right here in altitude. I know i got to go up a little bit here to, to get down, but uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. What? I thought I hit no interruptions. 
wide crevasse is uh, blocking your way. There's a snow bridge that you could use to cross it, but you're not certain that it's stable. Um, no, go around, dude. Wait. It's going to really make me cold. <laughs> All right, risk it for a biscuit. Yeah. Catch my fall? Cool. So a little bit of a health hit. Not too bad. All right, let's keep going. See, I thought I was supposed to not have critical interruption events. That's weird. I thought that's exactly what that was right there, but maybe I'm wrong. We might not be down. <clears throat> Excuse me. We might not be down below 6,000 here, but we'll be pretty close. At least we didn't lose any oxygen. That's. I'd rather take the health hit than the oxygen hit at this point. I just want to find a way to get down fast. That's a that's a good drop right there. A couple good drops. I think I might interrupt here and actually make the turn. Here are a couple loose stones rolling down a mountain. See? It says remaining time active. Two hours, 26 minutes. I'm not sure why we're getting these. One of them hits you in the torso. What's up with that? I activated this. Hmm. That seems like a an error. Uh, I think I want to go this way. Maybe I need to go. Can I get... If I go over here, can I go down... Let's head here. I want to go here. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not understanding that. What's the point of having this if I keep getting hit in the face by boulders and having to deal with snow bridges that give way? This doesn't seem to make much sense, but whatever. All right, we're almost down below, so we're about to get. Uh, I think this is going to go and fill back up immediately. We're almost there. One more. One more. We should be good. We should be good. I think we're going to be all right, guys. I think we're going to be all right. Make it below 6,000. And we are out of the... Yeah, we made it. We're out of the death zone. Haha, <laughs> we left. Not going back. I'm expecting this to fill up pretty quick. Oh, I can see the little green line. That's It's slow. I guess I'm getting resaturated a little bit slower oh right here's our base camp so we'll stay here for the night where do I want to stay it's a bunch of ice let's put on the uh, old uh, crampons again just for good measure I think we're safe we probably don't even need these but uh, yeah let's uh, let's put these on and uh, climb on down here we'll stay the night here and then uh, probably Get back to base camp tomorrow. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. If anybody knows why that was still allowing critical interruptions, please let me know. Maybe they're just not what I was... Maybe those aren't considered critical interruptions. Seems like it, though. Maybe it's just something that is like a bug. I don't know. All right, so we're good there. Can I get any lower? How far can I go? How low can you go? Okay, let's go down here. And yeah, we'll stay in the tent. We just gotta climb up, climb up to our base camp. Why isn't oxygen just shooting up right away? I don't get that. Oh, here we go. It is, it is, it's very slow. Very, very slow. I guess, yeah, you you regain, you re regain it the way you lose it, so. Okay, fair enough. This looks like it should be a pretty... Snow beneath, beneath your feet gives way, you fall, but not far. You land at the bottom of a flat, snowy crevasse. All right. Nice. Of course. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep here. Sleep long. Uh, oxygen energy. Okay, so I'm starting to freeze a little bit here, but we should be all right. I figured I'd get some warmth. 
kind of surprised that I'm down this low in this protected little valley from the storms and wind and all that. All right, let's just go for it, baby. Go for it. Make it happen. Can't activate that yet. Okay, I can probably use this one, though. Nah, don't really want to. I don't need the extra energy, I don't think. All right, just go for it. Should be all right. As long as we don't fall into a bottomless pit. Whoa! Storm's coming. Nah, I still have my crampons on. I should have probably switched over to snow boots again since I think this is considered snow. Did we make it? Did we do it, folks? Oh, boy. I hope so. All right, we made it. No critical events right here. <laughs> we did it. First summit, you reached a large sheltered area, perfect for rest. A rest. Obviously, you would prefer a, to keep going to head towards the next summit right away, but that would be suicide. You, <laughs> you don't just want to make it into the history books. You also want to be able to read them. And to make that happen, you need to gather your strength because one thing is for sure, the first climb costs you. The second one won't be any easier. All right. Route two has been unlocked. Mountain one complete. Or I should say mountain one uh, complete. Mountain two unlocked. We took route two. Um, I think that's, what is that, nine days probably? Normal. The cold severely troubles you. Frozen hands. Your hands are frozen. Okay. Your hands are frozen. Plus 10 energy cost on all terrain. Plus 20 time cost on all terrain. So does that mean... Does that mean when I start here, my hands are going to be like all jacked up? I don't know. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one.